In 2012, Boeing conducts a financial review of the 737 MAX. Another project has already cost the company billions in delays. To save money, the decision is made to reduce a key testing process during the aircraft's development. So each time we add something new, we test not only that the new feature works, but the old ones still do. It seems obvious, but it's all too easy to actually cause the thing to go backwards. This testing is critical throughout production to make sure failings do not creep into the design. But to speed up production and reduce costs, Boeing cuts the testing time by 2,000 hours. A House Transportation Committee hearing suggests some Boeing employees were feeling exhausted, and some stated they feared consequences if they spoke up about the pressure. There was at least one engineer who spoke up forcefully with his concerns about the situation. And he had a background in the military where he was quite used to the invitation to be very clear when something's going wrong, you are obligated uh, to speak up. And he was told when he spoke up at Boeing that this is not the military, this is a profit-making enterprise. Despite concerns raised by Boeing employees, the performance record of the previous generations of the 737 gives US Aviation Authority, the FAA, enough confidence to approve the remodeling project. But the FAA's approval is a grave error. It certainly has the overarching appearance that at every step of the way, decisions are being made to prioritize profits over safety. If time and money had not been such a priority, then identified problems with the modifications to the original 737 might have been solved before going any further. Instead, one of the biggest modifications goes on to be the root cause of the fatal crashes, putting new, larger engines on the 737 body that change its behavior in the air. The issue was, essentially, what happens as the aircraft pitches upwards. It is at such a steep angle that the wing can't produce lift anymore, and so the airplane stalls. 